Just two days remain until the general elections here in Korea. Tonight on News in Depth, we show you how the two main political parties are sprinting to the finish line as they try to win over voters in Seoul and surrounding communities. Experts speculate that a higher voter turnout would benefit opposition candidates as it would mean more young voters at the ballots. Our political correspondent Lee ji Yoon tells us more. Half of the directly contested seats up for grabs in the upcoming general elections represent Seoul, Incheon and Gyeonggi province. This means whichever party wins over the most voters in these areas is likely to claim victory on April 11th. With pundits saying that a couple of thousand votes could decide winners in around 50 of the 112 seats from Seoul, Incheon and Gyeonggi province, the parties are pulling out all the stops. Voter turnout could also be the key. Experts say 50 percent voter turnout is the tipping point in general elections. Back in 2004, voter turnout for the 17th general election stood at over 60 percent, and the main opposition party won a majority of seats in parliament. Whereas in the 18th parliamentary elections, voter turnout was considerably less, just 46 percent, and the ruling party won a majority. And drawing on recent history, pundits believe that a higher turnout is likely to lead to victory for the liberal opposition camp, which tend to be more popular among younger voters. Social media has brought more voters in their 20s and 30s into the political arena this year, but whether their activism will translate into votes has yet to be seen. We don't know for sure if voters between their 20s and 40s will come out to the polls at the last minute again, like last elections, which could be a deciding factor. So with just two days to go until the much-anticipated elections, it looks like the key to victory lies in those younger voters and wins in the key districts. Lee Jun, Arirang News. Analysts say the politically awakened younger generation is emerging as a key electorate in the general elections, especially those aged between 20 and 40. Our reporters went out to some of the busiest districts in Seoul to find out what this particular demographic had to say about the upcoming polls. Compared to most of the other countries, our welfare is weak. We, the government, should establish more welfare for people in lower classes. Since I'm a student, I care about tuition fees. Our generation needs to vote. We need to focus on real estate prices and accommodation fees. I want Seoul's economical issues to be solved after the elections, such as low birth rate, public transportation, and skyrocketing real estate prices. Consumer prices are highly volatile and oil prices are high. I want to vote for a person who can stabilize these prices. I just graduated and I'm trying to find a job. After the elections, hopefully there will be more job opportunities. When watching the news, the biggest issue is power change and I concur. I'm conservative, so I want policies that are practical. I don't expect major changes, but I want a policy that solves our current problems.